Yeah. It's your boy Gruff here back with another video and today I got this video guys man today we're going to be talking about a new bear that's coming up now and this is the super master pack for uh, if you do check your in-game, you know, Dragon Ball Legends in-game, you'll see that Super Master Pack 3 is going away today. So we are going to be having, look like, an updated Super Master Pack. Now, I definitely, I think this banner is not really all that worth, but some people might want to know. Like, maybe some people might, like, check out the, un the units in here and be like, oh, I might actually want to summon. So I just want to just make this banner talk since it is a new banner. Should you guys summon on this banner or not and everything. I think this might be a really quick one because I think this is pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. So um, let me check here. We check the start date. It is going to be coming out April 26th, and it's going to last to October 26th. So it's only going to be up for six months. I mean, well, not only six months, but it's going to be up for six months, which is pretty interesting, right? You check this out. You see Kyle can Goku. You see Revival Frieza. You see Revival Gohan. You see Broly. Goku Black Zimbabwe, Super Goku. So... It looked like they just basically what they did was just updated from all the all the all-star banners that we had up until the third anniversary right so we checked this out basically what they did is basically updated since ooh ooh but super saiyan 3 goku that's pretty much all the new units that they added on here i believe that i believe that bojack and them was already on super master pack 3 let me actually check my phone real quick let me actually let out the game but i think that keflon and all the super and all the all the anniversary, like the anniversary, the, the third year anniversary units was already on Super Master Pack 3. So all they pretty much did was add like Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Oob. Then they had what? After that, it was Topo and Qualifla. Then it was Nappa and Gohan. Then it was Goku and El Piccolo. And then it's uh the Super Saiyan. And then it's what? They had the Legends Festivals, regular sparking units. And then they had Kyle and Goku and Final Form Frieza, right? So you're yeah, taking out here. Yeah, they already had, they had the Super... Yeah, they had the West names already in there. They already had the anniversary units on there. So, yeah, that's all they did was just updated, added the, the latest all-star units, and then they added the latest festival units. So, yeah, take a look at it. You know, you can see that Revival Freeze is a really, really good pull. Anybody else out of these new all-star units, you know, Red Piccolo, I think, is really a sleeper, not going to lie. This guy's kind of, you know, he's okay. You don't see this guy at all. You don't see this guy at all. Berku, you don't see at all. Cryhan. Uh, every now and then you don't see this unit at all you definitely don't see him you do see uber a lot you don't really see super saiyan 3 goku and nappy you just don't see so um is this the banner that you should summon on i definitely don't think you should summon on this banner even if you're thinking about doing dailies i don't even think dailies is worth because look at the rates right like 0.05 it's not 0.5 it's not one percent like they have so many filler spark is in here right like they have every sparking in the game right like the odds of you pulling i would say the best unit in here is it's like is final form phrase like it's basically slim to none you have all these other units that's been in the game since day one right so uh, i just don't think that it's worth we go to the guarantee drops it goes up to a 0.5 and like they just there's too many units in here there's too many units in here i just don't think that it's worth summoning on this banner at all even if you're doing daily like like i said seven days a week that's 140 cc that's going to add up that adds up over time so i just don't think that it's worth for you to summon on this uh super master pack at all like don't you invest no no thousand cc 90 no cc's on there because these units are going to be on better banners right like we've already seen that Revival Frieza and this Gohan, I mean, and this Goku was back on the latest uh, All Star Banner with the Golden Frieza and Whis. They have a better, you have a better chance of pulling them there than you do in here, right? So like, I just think that there's no point in something in this banner at all. Just say your CCs, bro. Anniversary is on the way, right? You can invest your CC if you do want to summon. You can summon on the new Step Up Banner. I feel like that's more valuable than this, or even the Whis and Golden Frieza Banner is. is is more valuable than this but just don't summon on these super master packs bro like it's it's pointless bro like the the rates are too low all that stuff so yeah i just wanted to cover this because it's a new banner don't summon on this bro even though it has the whole guarantee sparking like i said they have every spark in the game your odds of pulling the unit that you want is very 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 low and the best unit in here is revival frieza and revival frieza is already on like other banners already so there's no point in summoning for this banner so hope you guys enjoy like, comment, subscribe, and my girl, man, and I'm out.
Peace. Oops. <laughs>